Hey, this your man Mainstream back at it once again with the Negro Land mini docu series. This is episode three. If you haven't seen episode one and two, please go and check it out. So far, we covered the four different commodity areas of Negro Land. We geographically linked the Kingdom of Judah under the slave coast to the 12 tribes of Israel under the House of Judah. We showed the bloodline connection of African Americans to the slave coast by using DNA ancestry results from two different people who are unrelated. But Christ tells us to prove all things and have a witness of three. So here's a third witness. An African American from Los Angeles just became our third witness. Their ancestry test result has an ethnicity estimate of 49% coming from Nigeria and 12% from Senegal. Last we learned the land of Israel was split into two kingdoms. One, the Northern Kingdom, which was called the House of Israel. And two, the Southern Kingdom, which was called the House of Judah. So the question is, how did we go from having our own land in Israel and ended up in the slave coast of Negro land. We have to take it back to Jerusalem in 70 AD when the city was sieged under the Roman Empire and many Israelites fled into the mountains and fled into Africa for safety. According to the book From Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Renzor, Thousands of Jews migrated to Egypt and Arabia when the Roman general Titus destroyed the city of Jerusalem in 70 AD. If we skip down the line, we see that the Roman persecution and restrictions imposed on the Jews were so great that a large number of Jews fled into Arabia. Our second witness comes from the Britannica. Siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD, Roman military blockade of Jerusalem during the first Jewish revolt. The fall of the city marked the effective conclusion of a four-year campaign against the Jewish insurgency in Judea. The Romans destroyed much of the city, including the second temple. The majority of information on the siege comes from the copious notes of the Jewish historian Flavius Josephus. Now let's take a look on why this happened, on why the siege of Jerusalem had emerged. Uh, Let's focus on the highlighted area. At times, the divide between monotheistic and polytheistic religious views caused clashes between Jews and Gentiles. This friction, combined with oppressive taxation and unwanted imperialism, culminated in 66 CE in the first Jewish revolt. In April 70 CE, about the time of Passover, the Roman general Titus besieged Jerusalem. Since that action coincided with Passover, the Romans allowed pilgrims to enter the city but refused to let them leave, thus strategically depleting food and water supplies within Jerusalem. Within the walls, the zealous, a militant anti-Roman party, struggled with other Jewish factions that had emerged, which weakened the resistance even more. Let's go ahead and skip down to the other highlighted area. This sounds like 2022. The Romans encircled the city with a wall to cut off supplies to the city completely and thereby drive the Jews to starvation. So now you see why the Israelites had to flee from their homeland of Israel. This is a map showing the migration of Israelites after fleeing from their hometown of Israel into other regions in Africa and eventually settled in an area to what Europeans call Negro land.
All praises and glory to our Most High God, by way of Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe. Shout out to Brother Darby on Negro Land, as well as Jacob's Ladder and Citizens of God's Kingdom.